today's problem is lead code problem number 476 and it's called number complement and uh, by number complement we mean, mean that uh, the number that we obtain by changing the flipping the bits of original number for example here you see it's the bit representation of 5 it's 101 2 raised to the power 0 which is 1 plus this is absent plus 2 square that is 4 plus 1 5 and here you see it's 2 to the power of 1 which is 2 so the complement of 5 would be 2, two here because uh, these are the bits that are used and we have flipped them we don't flip these bits for positive integers these will be all zeros only a certain number of bits will be used and last bit will be zero anyway and we are given that we will be doing it for only positive numbers so the last bit will be zero and uh, we don't have to change flip any bits till we encounter the first bit so here we will just flip three and we will be using bit operations for that since those are much faster than uh, running a loop and uh, then every time shifting it one step so that we reach here and uh, I did a brief uh, survey on internet and I found that it's also used on uh, it has been asked a few times in Facebook interviews and the concepts that you will learn here will be very useful for uh, any other bitwise operations questions related to that so pay attention to it so now this is the example uh, and this is the representation of 5 of course there are many more bits here on the left of it with all zeros I have not written that since the, those will not be impacted anyway I have just added two extra zeros but imagine there are more zeros here and this is 2 so here 1 becomes 0 0 becomes 1 and 1 becomes 0 all the others will be unchanged so how we can do that so one simple trick could be that let's say we have 0 here 1 0 1 so uh, we know that uh, if we take XOR of two numbers so 1 XOR 1 is 0 0 XOR 0 is also 0 1 XOR 0 is 1 and 0 XOR 1 is equal to 1 so it's 1 in these cases so whenever I flip uh, whenever I XOR a number with 1 we are doing in two instances here and 1 we are or doing XOR with 1 here so there are two cases we do XOR here so when we do XOR of 1 with 1 we get 0 so this 1 is flipped so this is the operation that we will perform XOR with 1 and here is a bit so if this bit is 0 we get 1 if this bit is 1 we get 0 so doing XOR with 1 always flips the bit and this is what we are required here so whenever we have you have a problem where you require flipping of bits think of doing XOR with 1 doing XOR with 0 will not change anything for example doing XOR with 0 on 0 you get 0 on 1 you get 1 so bits are un unimpacted so uh, how can we flip it so if we do it uh, here we have using three bits we don't need to flip these so if we do XOR with this and this will be our mask and we will see how we can achieve it this is our original number so if we do XOR with 111 all the ones we get 0 1 0 which will be our solu solution so the main trick here is how to get this mask so for that we need the number of bits in this case number of bits is 3 so what we do we left shift 1 by 3 and by the way what this number represents 111 it represents 7 this is 1 plus 2 plus 4 that is 7 and if we had 4 ones it would represent 15 
and you will notice that 7 is 8 minus 1 and if we have 15 that is 4 bits then it would be 16 minus 1 why I am writing it because 8 is 2 raised to the power 3 and 16 is 2 raised to the power 4 and this pattern will repeat if we have 5 bits 5 ones we will have 31 which will be 32 minus 1 that is 2 raised to the power 5 minus 1 so if we have number of bits is uh, nb then we need to find 2 raised to the power nb minus 1 so either you can use the power function and subtract 1 from it or you can left shift 1 so if you left shift 1 by 3 it becomes uh, 1 0 0 0 that is 8 you left shift 1 by 1 it becomes 2 by 2 it becomes 4 by 3 it becomes 8 and then subtract 1 from it and then whatever you get this mask do XOR with original number so let's implement this concept in C++ then, then we will do exactly same thing in Java and Python so this is the problem statement and they have given the example of 5 first we will write in C++ so uh, we will need to use log function here log base 2 uh, in Python we have a ready-made function bit length but in uh, C++ I don't think we have any function like that so we will use the log function log base 2 to get the number of bits and one thing with the log is that you cannot take log of 0 so we will add a base case for 0 so if num is 0 we return 1 why because a representation of 0 is 0 0 0 and last bit we will flip to 1 so this is base case uh, for 1 it's 0 for 0 it will be 1 other than that we can take the log of anything and this limitation is not due to base case but it's mainly due to the function log that we will be using num bits equal to log 2 num plus 1 and uh, this uh, C++ has functions log, log 10 and log 2 and the default log is natural logarithm that is base is E, Euler's number. If you want log 10 you will write log 10, if you want log 2 you want you will write log 2. So here we will need log 2 then mask, mask is 1 num bits so if it's 3 we will get 8 then finally we subtract 1 uh, but there is a problem here you see that uh, we are always dealing with positive numbers so uh, if we are using a generic int let's say our test case is uh, int max which will be uh, all the 31 bits will be 1 so let me draw here so the int max will be this 32nd bit is 0 and all the other bits are 1 so in order to get this mask in order to get this 1 1 1 what we did we did 1 0 0 0 so 1 digit extra for 3 bit mask we need 1 digit extra 4 bits and then we subtracted 1 from it so if this is the integer that is given to you and this is a valid test case since it's a positive integer then we need to uh, left shift 1 by 32 bits so first we need this these are the 31 bits and this is the 32nd bit and then we subtract 1 from it but if you have this representation the last bit is 1 then it's not positive it will be negative so if you do minus 1 bit it will still be negative so this will not work so what we will do we will use unsigned we need to just cast it to unsigned
and then do everything will work fine it will always return positive so this thing was always valid but the problem is that first we need one extra bit for calculating this then only we will subtract it but this itself will become negative negative that's why we use unsigned and finally we will return num xor mask and let's try it and it works let's uh, submit and our solution is accepted in C++ now we will do the same thing in Java and Python as well so this base case will remain same and uh, in Java let me write it here we have math.log and uh, this log is base 10 by default and we don't have any specialized logs for 2 and 10 like the C++ case so we will use a property called uh, log if base is some number a I would not be able to write it here let me draw here so if we have log a b then we can write it as log k b divided by log k a so here k can be any number different from a and b uh, and if you want a proof of this uh, let's see so what we are claiming is that log a b is equal to log k some other number base b divided by the same number that we used here a and why is that so let's say this value is uh, let's call it p this value so what this means log a b is p that means a raised to the power p is b that is the definition of log if we take log uh, base a both side left side we will get p right side we will get log a, a b so this is valid now this is our first equation now what is this value let's say this we call v b and this is equal to v a we have not proved it yet we will prove it so numerator is v a so what this means this means k raised to the power v a is equal to b and what this means if log k is v k a is v a then it means sorry it should be b here k raised to the power v a is a this is our equation 2 this is our equation 3 now substitute the values of a and b here so left side will become k raised to the power v a and this raised to the power p so it will become p let me write it this side so this everything is in the power if you write a m and you take power n it becomes a m n so the same way left hand side becomes this we have substituted the value of a and then on right hand side we substitute the value of b and uh, here both uh, k are positive numbers so we can get rid of these we can take log k on both side and left side we will get v a times p and right side we will get v b that is their powers are equal so uh, what will be the value of p it will be v b times v b divided by v a so we have proved this what is v b v b is log k b and what is v a log k a and what is p it's uh, log a b so these so we have proved it so that we will used in uh, we will use in our java solution so this log 2 does not exist so we will need math dot log num so this will be log base 10 
divided by math dot log two. And uh, let me again inter interfere here. We want log two of x. So here two is a. If you look at this form, and x is b. So this can be written as log k. And here we have k is ten. That is available to us. Log ten b divided by log ten a, which is two. And this log ten is nothing but math dot log in Java. So math dot log x divided by math dot log two. So that is what we have exactly written here. Math dot log num divided by math dot log two, and then plus one. And this is not required here. And let's try it. Conversion from double to int. So this uh, division of two logs. So let us convert it to int here. And let's try again. And this compiles. So let's go ahead and submit. And the solution is accepted in uh, Java as well. Now we will write the same thing in Python. And here we will not need to take the logs. So we don't even need the base condition. That is num equal to zero check. We had added that only because of logs. So we will straight away get num dot bit length. And mask will be minus one, and return num xor mask. Uh, num bits some typo. And the solution is correct here. So let's submit. And it's also accepted. 